All right, I am trying to record from inside home for the first time using uh, Oculus uh, Mirror diag under Diagnostics and um, OBS Studio. Okay, so this is cool. So I'm experimenting with uh, importing objects into the inventory here. And what I've got is, so these are some, uh, these are some of my Oculus Medium sculpts. I tried do, uh, doing one color. Then I tried taking an object that was done um, on the iPad, actually, put into the Substance Painter, and then exported out as a GTLF file. Then I had to learn how to get it into a GLB format, which worked. Then I was actually having some issues with scaling, so I had to figure it out, okay, everything is based on meter, so I went back and took that back in Maya. There's a lot of hoops going through to put all these pieces in, but then I wanted to try an old cool model, so I revisited this, this Tron tank that I built many years ago. I kind of cleaned it up and applied just some, a very simple texture so I can get the colors in. And then I wanted to try animation. So the first one is this guy right here, and it worked fine after I acknowledged it and got it in. There were some glitches on the sh on the floor. But then I retimed the animation and did this one, and now I'm getting like some weird shadow here. Oops, I got a piece here that I forgot to throw away while I was flipping around. Um, so anyways, does anybody know how to clean up some of these weird shadows because it was happening on this one but now it's happening on this one I could probably try to take it and put it away and see if I can maybe like put it back in and go back to inventory oops that was a big one sorry about that let's go down here this is the second one I can see that in the preview it looks like there's a weird shadow looks like it might have been baked or something I don't understand that all right too much stuff going on here that went away so I don't know why this got baked. But the last time when I did it, when I restarted the home, the funkiness went away on this one. I was actually having a weird shadow on the ground. So this one works fine. I, I retimed this one. And now this one's acting a little wonky. But it's kind of cool that I can get an FBX model animated inside Maya. And then I actually used this, I found this program called uh, FBX to G, was it to GLB? Uh, it's like a shortcut that you put on your desktop and you drag the FBX file on top of it and it spits off the GLB. I wish I had more control with exporting GLBs like with a plugin maybe in Maya, but nothing like that exists yet. So anyhow, uh, if anybody has any ideas on how to get this to clean up a little bit, that would be greatly appreciated. But I'm getting excited to now start maybe thinking about making my own home environment. Like I really want to like make something brand new. Um, so that's kind of where I'm getting excited about these days. I'm going to try to like start fooling around with some more VR stuff. I wish we can scale inside home, but that's not available yet. Hopefully soonish, but you gotta scale before you come in. All right, cool. So if anybody knows any uh, tips or tricks for me to read, I've been trying to scour Reddit and uh, check out some YouTube stuff. So I'm just kind of getting my feet wet again with this whole VR uh, custom stuff, but I'd love to do more. All right, cool. I'm gonna post this and see if I get any responses. Thanks.